Would you have met with representatives of Extinction Rebellion, Mr Stewart? Yes, in fact, I, I went out... No, as Prime Minister, would you have met with them? I don't know whether I would have as Prime Minister, but certainly as well, Secretary of State, you, certainly as Secretary of State, very Prime happy to. You, yes, but if, the, if you were Prime Minister and they'd asked to meet with you, would you have said yes? Yes. Aren't you creating a bit of a, a rod for your own back there? Because everybody wants to prime, meet the Prime Minister, we'll just shut down Waterloo Bridge. Well, Nick, I basically believe in meeting everybody. I've been out in, in Skinner. Be very busy. I've been out in Derry. Uh, I'll be out on Speaker's Corner this evening. Mm. Sitting right. there, I believe in meeting people. I believe that in the end, the job of politics is listening and engaging with people. And when I'm Prime Minister, I would like to walk through every county of the United Kingdom in order to listen to people and speak to them. Right. Would you meet with the parents who are outside a school in Birmingham protesting about LGBT classes? I'd meet with everybody, literally everybody. But are they right to be protesting? Do I you think, uh, is uh, it the my, role of the state to educate children over LGBT matters? I think it is the role of the state to educate children over those issues, but I'd like to sit down with those parents, I'd like to listen to their concerns, and I'd like to talk to them about it. I don't believe in not talking to anyone. I believe in conversation, I believe in democracy, and I believe politicians should be out and meeting people. OK, all right. Uh, just a couple of final questions. Uh, we've talked a little bit uh, about the issues of the candidature. Obviously, you consider yourself the best. Who's the second best of the 13? Goodness gracious me. Um... I suppose I admire people like Michael Gove, Matt Hancock, Jeremy Hunt. Have you had any conversations with Mr Gove? I have not had any conversations with Mr Gove, no. We're running rival campaigns. Yes, I didn't know. And how many people have you got on your side? How many Conservative MPs have you got on your side? So at the moment, my declared MPs are David Gork, Nicholas Soames, Ken Clark and Victoria Prentice and hopefully we'll see some more announcements the next couple of days. How, what number do you think you might get to in the course of this week? I don't know because the key to this is that I'm doing it in a completely different way to other politicians. I'm not in Westminster, I'm out on the streets. But what I hope I'm proving, and this is what I'm trying to show MPs, is that if talking about adult social care on a small video I get a million people watching it. If I have people literally crossing the street in Derry in order to engage with me, what I'm yes. trying to prove to MPs is that I'm the person that can win the next election. And if I can prove I can win the next election, we're beginning to get polling coming out showing that I am the candidate that's more likely to get younger voters, more likely to get BAME voters, more likely to convince Liberal or Labour voters to vote Conservative. In the end, the way we change a country is by winning an election. And I have to show MPs in the end that it isn't about being a professional politician. If it's about being a professional politician, you wouldn't choose me. It's about the ability to listen, the ability to communicate mm. and try to be straight with people on the streets. And you want to meet people. Would you want to meet with ISIS? I meet with everybody. I was in Iraq being shelled in my compound with rocket propel grenades coming in through the door. I walked out of that door to meet the people that were literally firing rockets at my compound. This is what I do. I meet with literally everybody. 